non-stop snow in Spokane these days. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another beautiful snowy day here in Spokane. <sighs> Today is going to be a good old fashioned vlog. Like nothing crazy, nothing set in stone. We do have a ton of car stuff car things to get done today as always. Welcome to my life, that's all I do is work on cars, uh, mainly on both Evo 10s. So first things first, we have the half-wrapped Evo 10. It's been out in the snow for a minute. We've been working on the abandoned Evo 10, trying to get the ABS system figured out, and also working on the Evo 8. So this car's been in the snow for a little bit. Let's try to get all the snow off, pull it into the shop. We already got the Evo 8 out, so we got space for this guy in the shop. We were so close to finishing up with the pump gas tune on this Evo 10. And then I kind of wanted to change up a few things. So it's not running 100% perfect, like mid range RPM, 5,000 ish RPM light throttle. And that's, I think that's because I don't have a fuel dampener on the fuel rail. So I'm changing up the fuel rail setup. We're going full speed density. We're ditching the MAF. We're di ditching our intake. We're going to be just running an open turbo with the filter or with a turbo guard on there. Let's pull this guard in the shop. And today we have two things to fix. Number one, a starter. Number two, the AC line that we broke. The starter's been kind of fucky on the car. Ever since I put this one on here, I took the one that was off of there and put on the abandoned Evo when we were, yeah. Long story, but the original starter off this car is on the abandoned Evo. I didn't have a starter for this car, so I bought a used one. The used one's messed up, so we have a new one to put on the car today. And then we broke the AC line, so we gotta swap out the AC line. Let's head in the shop and let me show you guys what's up with the other Evo 10, the abandoned Evo 10 project that is pissing everybody off, including me, including all you guys. Here she is. The car is looking pretty damn beautiful these days. There are a few things. I kind of went over it in the last video when I was asking for all you guys' help with the ABS system. So a few things on this car were getting sprayed. And by sprayed, I mean repainted. So first thing is the front bumper. The color doesn't match. I just had it resprayed. It's 100% perfect condition, but the color doesn't match. As you can see right here, this is way more like creamy yellow looking than the rest of the car. So the bumper is gonna be resprayed. We're gonna drop the fenders off to get repainted. There's a hole right there for some bumper straps they had on here. So we're going to get that filled, get the bumpers resprayed. That's going to look 100% perfect. You come around to the back and the wing does not match either. It looks like someone honestly like a rattle can did or something. So that is going to get fixed. I'm trying to make this body perfect. We have a tiny little dent right there. Don't mind the gas spill, but we have a tiny little dent right there to get pulled out. And then a quick little buff ceramic coat on the car it'll be looking mint. So we got to pull all that stuff off today, bring it into a new painter who's never painted any of my stuff before. And I hope he's good. I'm tempted to just respray this stuff myself, but that's not my strong point. I don't enjoy it. So I want to find someone that's actually good here in Spokane to get everything painted. So first things first, let's pull this car over here, pull the other Evo in the shop, kind of let it melt, let it defrost. We can pull these parts off this car. Did you guys hear how slow that starter sounds? I always thought it was a battery, but I put multiple batteries in here and it's not the battery. So I'm gonna swap with the starter. I'm pretty damn sure that's the issue. All right, we got her in the shop. Let's work on this thing first. We gotta get all the stuff off and torn apart, like the wing completely torn apart, the bumper all torn apart, and get everything into the truck to drop off.
All right, we got all the parts off, got them loaded up in the truck. Let's move on to the baby, the Evo 10, my favorite car of the channel. Well, damn guys, I bought the wrong line. That line right there is the one I just bought. I found it off eBay and it's actually this line right here. I need a line that runs from here down to the condenser. So damn, bought the wrong line. We can still get the starter swapped out today, but obviously we can't put the wrong line on. <sighs> All right guys, we got the starter swapped out. Definitely wasn't the most fun chore in the world, but we got it done. It's definitely doable with the car completely on the ground and doing it just from the top. Let's go ahead and connect the battery and see if that fixes our issue. It definitely sounded a little bit faster. Let's throw on the intercooler piping and the BOV and we can actually get a good test and feel for how it is now. Honestly guys, I can't really tell if it's any different or not. So that probably means that it didn't change much. I think in my mind, I want it to sound faster, but I think in real life, it's the same. So I don't really know what's going on. Swap the starter, it's a brand new battery. Um, yeah, maybe it's just because we have cams and a fully built motor, higher compression. Maybe that's it, I don't really know. Let's move on with our day. Kind of a fail today on the, on the Raptor Evo 10. Made some good progress on that car, but on this car, definitely a fail. But it is what it is. Every day can't be perfect. Hi, ha. Hello. What's up? Nothing. I don't know. You want to tell you two about your face? What? Bobby got her face stabbed a thousand times today, and she thinks it's pretty cool. No, I got microneedling done. Micro if there's any girls watching, they'll know what that is. No one knows what the fuck that is because it's a big scam. My you could have spent that hundred sixty dollars on car parts. <laughs> you could have bought a few. That's literally money for a fuel pump. Hi. A fuel pump is about hundred sixty bucks. She's getting crabby. So we're gonna go drop off our parts right now. Are you crabby? We're gonna go drop off the bumper and there's two front fenders and the wang and get them painted. I hope this freaking painter's good. If he's not good, Bobby can paint my shit for me. Do I look like a painter? Kinda. Hey baby, can you please take out the garbage? And this one has your stinky bananas in it. Oh, I kinda want a banana. I already had one. Oh no, it's split. I hate when it splits like that. <laughs> strong. All right, so we just went and dropped off all of the parts for the Evo 10 to get painted. So the two front fenders, 
the hood or not the hood the front bumper and the wing all that stuff is going to get resprayed i want to head back in the shop right now do some more diagnosing on the car see if we can figure out what is going on with the abs system i've never struggled so much on a car in my life as i have with the cbo 10. this thing is freaking killing me guys i don't really have a plan of what we're going to be doing i'm just going to kind of enjoy checking things not really by the book today just checking weird things on the car and kind of just go through it and see if i can make any progress whatsoever so at the beginning of the day i was kind of just winging it and i realized that's extremely pointless we're not going to make any progress whatsoever on the car if we continue doing that so i went online and i think we finally finally made a little bit of progress as to what is going on with this abs system so we're going through checking the harness and we're supposed to have continuity between terminal 18 on the abs pump and connector 2 on the yaw sensor those two are fine but connector 19 and 3 are also supposed to have continuity and there's no continuity there so we have a break in the wire somewhere between abs pump connector terminal number 19 and connector terminal number 3 on the g-force slash yaw sensor i went and printed out some more stuff it looks like it runs through a joint connector, joint connector C50, and then up to that yaw rate sensor. So I gotta figure out where joint connector C50 is. As you can see, there's about a thousand connectors under the dash. So if we can figure out where C50 is, I think we may finally figure out our problem. I'll update you guys here in a minute with what we figure out. To me, it looks like that joint connector C50 is completely, completely under the dash. The whole dash is gonna have to come out to access that joint connector. Basically, I think what a joint connector is, is where two harnesses plug into each other. Correct me down in the comment section below if I'm wrong. I haven't decided yet if I wanna pull the whole entire dash apart to try and figure out if it's something in that joint joint connector, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure if it's worth it. I feel like if I go that far, I may just replace the whole entire wiring harness for the dash. Not exactly sure yet. Either way, I'm not going to do that today. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like we're making some good progress on the Evo 10. I don't know exactly when it's going to be finished because I feel like we've been working on this ABS issue for a while. But either way, we definitely made some progress today. We found a wire that's supposed to have continuity but doesn't. So I feel like pretty soon here we should have this thing wrapped up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out. I'll see you tomorrow.